Oh, hello everyone. Welcome to the Econobox Garage. Come on inside where it's a little bit warmer. Well, hello everyone and welcome to the Econobox Garage. In last week's video, I got the lighting done on the front of the bonnet and this week I'm going to start work on the back of the car. But before I do that, I'm going to move the car up a couple of feet to give me more room at the back. Uh, and in order to do that, I'm going to put the wheels on the car, drop it down and actually roll it forward. It'll be the first time it's been on its own wheels in about two and a half years. So let's get that done and then we'll get to putting the lights on the back of the car. wheels temporarily on the car and off the jacks and relocated it to give me more room on the back end of the car to, to get some work done. So now that I've repositioned it I can put it back on the jack stands. I'll put the wheels off to the side and so they're out of the way and get back to work on installing some lights after cleaning up some of the uh, stuff I need to get rid of here. Well I've given myself a lot more room at the back of the car to work. So now I'm going to get working on putting the lights on. Now in an earlier video, um, I showed you why I'm going to LEDs. And I would again like to thank Moss Motors for sponsoring uh, the lighting kit on this. So I'll put a link to that previous video up above for you to check out. So here's the tail light. And that is a combination brake and running light. And then there's the signal light. Uh, it goes in the red lens here and license plate light and that's got the LED bulbs in it as well. I have the wiring harness run inside the car. So this is the wiring for the tail light and for the signal light down here. So I'll put the wires through the gasket, put the connectors on. I'll put the con uh, corresponding connectors on the ends of the harness wires and then make sure everything, all those connections are inside the car makes it a little bit more weatherproof. And for the remaining lights, like the signal lights and the license plate light, I'll use the sleeve connectors as I did on the front signal lights. I'm going to get uh, some connectors on these wires here. And then I'll get the instruction sheet to make sure I'm connecting the correct wire on the harness to the corresponding wire on the light itself. You can see I've shortened the wires um, on the tail light kit and I poked them through the pre-made holes in the gasket. So next up is I'll put the female connectors on these wires and then mate them up with the male connectors on the harness. So now I have the connectors on both ends of the harness and on the light itself. I can just go to the instruction sheet and find the applicable connections. So on the bug eye, the blue wire on the LED will connect to the red wire in the harness and the red wire from the LED will connect to the green and purple wire and then the black wire connects to the black wire. Okay, so we have these connected as per the instructions and now I am going to work these through the hole here uh, one by one so that all of those connections are inside the car. So all the connectors are now inside the car. I just push them through one at a time and now I'm just going to get the base mounted into the gasket. A little tough to see here, but there's actually a little lip that opens up and then that, the inside or the edge of the base goes into that lip all the way around. 
and then I'll get the screws that were provided with the kit and then that part is installed and it's just a matter of putting the lens on top. discovered one thing with the kit from Moss is that the incorrect screws were supplied in this particular kit. Uh, the ones that came in the kit uh, were these uh, metal sheet metal screws when what's needed at least on the bug eye are the machine screws and that's a 10 number 10 uh, 32 pitch or number 10 UNF screw. So I just went to Lowe's and uh, picked up a small package of those so I cleaned out the threads and the blind nuts and checked the screws and those are the ones that are going to work just right. Well that went way better with the screws with the correct thread on them. So now the base of the light is firmly in place. So all that's left now is to put the lens on and then do the same over on the other side. Well, now that I have the main tail light installed on the right hand side, I am going to work on the signal light. Now, uh, this is very similar to the one on the front, uh, just has a different kind of bulb and a single filament. And it only has the two wires coming out instead of the three. Well, I'm all ready to put the license plate light on, but I don't have any way to attach the license plate itself. So I'm going to work on that first so that the license plate light isn't in the way. So first of all, I'm going to measure where the center is between the bumper hole here and here. And then I'll measure, do a vertical line through there and then figure out where the license plate has to go. I'm going to mount the plate right about there, but I don't want it to go like right tight against there, against the body, otherwise it's just going to rub against the this bottom edge. So I am going to use a couple of spacers, uh, but rather than try and do a bolt from the back and do a nut and bolt, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a riv nut in on each side. So all I have to do is a screw into that from this side, it gives me a good solid mount for the license plate, and I'll use a little spacer between the head of the riv nut and the back of the license plate. Well, now comes the scary part. 
and it's uh, drilling some holes in the back of the car. So as you can see, I've got them marked off uh, here and here. So I'm just going to center punch those and I will drill a pilot hole with these and that hole will help the step drill uh, work a lot better. So there we have uh, the license plate mounting uh, sockets on, for lack of a better word, the rivnuts. nuts. Um, I need to pick up the correct size screws for those. So now that I've got that done, I can put the license plate light on. I'm going to need some help for that because I've got to put screws in from behind and attach it that way. Uh, so I'll, uh, let's get to work on that. Now before I go to attach the license plate light, I'm going to replace the spire nuts uh, with these new ones. Uh, this one is actually broken and this one is worn out. I tried it with the appropriate screws in it and they were the screws are just too loose. So I've also picked up uh, some new screws. These are the right size and length. So they're number 10, three quarters. But again, being Canadian, uh, they are a Robertson and not a Phillips. So uh, if you were and as I noted a couple of times before, if you're doing a concourse restoration, you want to use the Phillips or Posi Drive screws for that. But these are the two wires for the license plate light. Now they come through the metal hole here and then through this gasket. But the gasket uh, doesn't give the wire any protection. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a grommet in there. Uh, it's not a tight one. At least that way the wires won't chafe against the metal of the hole. So there's the grommet in the hole and then there's enough slack and what have you in the uh, little gasket itself. I'm not worried about it interfering with installation of the, uh, the light itself. So there's the two wires through and that'll sit like that. So now what I have to do is run the wires through Now, I've got the light itself upside down, but I have to run the wires through this grommet here. And they'll come through, and then I can wire them into the ground connection here and the power connection over here. So now you can see I have the wires uh, through the gasket and through the grommet and coming out the front side. So I'm just going to grab a helper, and I'll get this attached. And there'd be two number 10 screws that come through that come through the two holes there and it gets tightened down onto the car. Now I've got the license plate light plinth in position. I can strip the wires back and put those sleeve connectors in for the ground which goes underneath here and for the power. And then once I've got that in, put the bulbs in and then test it out. And there we have the tail lights and the license plate lights um, all lit up and installed. So I'm going to call the back of the car, as far as the electrical is concerned, done. Well, I got the right screws for the, put the license plate on now. These are quarter inch by 20. And they're one inch long. And I've got them as stainless with a stainless washer and a nylon spacer in behind to pull it off. The body and it's not touching down at the bottom across here so i'm quite happy with how that's turned out so i think i'm going to call it um, done for this video uh, next time i'm going to get the the sprite emblem put on which goes in on these two holes right here and here and i'll get the gas tank in and the bumpers on the back so come back next week for that uh, if you enjoyed the video please be sure to share it with your friends Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget that little bell icon. Click on that and you'll get notified when the next video comes out. My name is Ian. This is the Econobox Garage. We'll see you next time.